What's up guys, Godzilla back again. In this video we're going to be installing this Haltech gauge. <laughs> um, basically it's going to be a multifunction gauge that um, reads off of the CAN um, network on my ECU and you'll be able to read any of the parameters that the ECU outputs from volts to any kind of sensors you have, um, RPM, anything like that. So I want to say a big shout out to uh, Jonathan at uh, PlatinumRacingProductsUSA.com. Um, if you guys need anything, uh, link will be in the description below. He also sells uh, Supertech Racing. Uh, he sells, um, I think he's about to start selling Hypertune, um, Haltech, um, all sorts of stuff, all the big Aussie brands. Um, so you can also use code GOODZILLA, get 10% off still. So anyway, just a big shout out to him and uh, happy 4th of July to all my fellow Americans. Um, if you're not American, uh, happy Thursday. <laughs> so anyway, enjoy the video and uh, let's get into it. Alright guys, so I got my Haltech uh, multifunction gauge here. So basically it comes with the gauge itself and then this cable and then I have an adapter that uses the CAN uh, port adapter for the Platinum Pro series style, which is this smaller style. And then I bought a hub, six port hub, because currently my ECU that's over there that I have to un undo some panels to get to um, is using the CAN port for my wideband, so I have to get uh, this hub here so that I can run more than one CAN device. So then I had to buy this cable because basically the way it works is. Um, the ECU will connect to port 1, this top one right here, with a, a black end style cable. And then any amount of devices that go between the first and last device have to be used white cables. So my wideband will use the white. And then the end device, the last device, in the chain we'll use a black so black white black like an Oreo so I had to buy this and this little piece right here separate so that I could use it with my uh, Platinum Pro because I'm already using up the one can port so now I need to uninstall my uh, separate wideband my PLX devices wideband um, which is actually a separate sensor and control box that's back here. I don't know, it's hard to see, it's that red thing. Um, so I'll uninstall that and then install this gauge in its place because I can read the wideband for the Haltech and then my fuel pressure sensor and my flex fuel sensor and pretty much any um, whatever parameter that I want to that the ECU is um, able to output so yep time to start uninstalling the old gauge alright guys well I've got the cable run through the gauge pod there sticking out of the hole and then I'm gonna have to uh, zip tie this up so it's not hanging down like that um, and here's the gauge so on the back you can use the supplied, um, it's like a little metal L bracket, uh, like right here. And that can hold it into the gauge pod or whatever, but I won't be using that because my uh, gauge pod has these reducers, this rubber ring around here because these are made, this pod is made for 60 millimeter gauges, but mine are 52 millimeter gauges. So they use these um, rubber 
reducers there and it keeps them nice and snug they don't come out so anyway on the back um, you've got on the back you've got two sets of connectors and it says either one can be used and then you have a little jumper here that's a um, terminator resistor and you can program that um, to do stuff I don't know exactly I haven't read into it but I probably won't be using it so anyway you can plug into the top or bottom it doesn't matter so I'm gonna do that and hopefully I can set you guys up so you can see because um, I won't be able to do this with one hand so uno momento fit as snug all right so I've wrapped some electrical tape around there to make it thicker so let's test fit now there. Now it's too thick. So I'll take some of the tape off. There we go. Nice and snug. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like in the car now. So now I need to uh, let's see get a light. I need to unpack my ECU under that panel and uh, get to the uh, plugging up of the can terminations shouldn't be too bad all right guys so this type of plug is for an elite style ECU so I had to buy an adapter to go to the platinum pro uh, style and this is the gauge so this will go into port 3 which is this one of the can hub. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So then I get my white connector can cable and this will go into two and then this other end will go into the wideband controller and then cable three that's into the wideband controller now will go into port one. So Here's my wideband controller, and that's the black cable. Hope you guys can see. Um, it went into the wideband, so now that's going to go into this hub, and then this white one will go into the wideband controller. it all back behind there. And I'll make it look nice once I verify that it's actually working. Get my USB cable. Alright guys, so in the instructions it says to 
download the app. Uh, it's Gauge Art Can Gauge app from the Play Store. Um, it says turn on the ignition to turn on the can gauge. The welcome screen will show. Connect to the gauge via the Wi-Fi by tapping on your settings on Wi-Fi. Um, tap on the gauge art and enter the default password of one two three four five six seven eight. And now you can open the app, and then we'll create a configuration. So let's try that. Gauge art. All right, so the default is AFR. So we're going to create configuration. Haltech, yes. Next. Uh, so for the first one, I guess we'll do a two gauges. So tap to add gauge. Um, so temperature. Let's do air fuel. Oh, this is weird. Hmm. Guess we'll just have to play with it. Um, and the second one, I'll do. Uh, fuel pressure. I guess. So that's the first page. So next page. We'll just do air fuel, I guess. All right, guys, so my other camera battery died, and I'm almost done here, so figured I'll show you the uh, configuration that I set up. But you can go into the program and change stuff on your phone to display on the gauge um, live like while the car is running or whatever you just you know configure it and then send it and then the gauge will you know do a reset or whatever and then yeah so I'll just show you what I got here thanks for watching as always I appreciate it uh, if you leave a like it really helps me out 
comment down below what you think about the gauge. Um, I may sell my uh, PLX devices wideband, or I might just put it in another car that I have. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, as always, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more, and uh, we'll see you next time. See ya. It's freaking hot out here. I'm glistening. Yeah. <laughs>